Hey, Dave Stoblin here, and I would like to show you the effect of negatives on the exponential growth and decay equation, y equals ab to the x. Now, if you look over here in the upper left, you're going to see this equation, y equals 2 times 2 to the x. And the first thing I want you to notice is that this is y equals ab to the x. And this a value of 2 should be the value of the y-intercept, and you'll see it right there, 0, 2. If we were to change that to 3, you would see the y-intercept changes to 3. If we changed it to 4, you'd see the y-intercept changes to 4. So that's how that works. Now, for our purposes, we have growth equation where the b value is greater than 1, and so we have exponential growth. You'll see it's very small on the left, and the graph grows large as we move to the right. So the first question is, what happens when the a value is negative? So let's find out. And if you look at the equation, I'm going to put a negative in front of the 4. And if you watch the graph, it reflects over the x-axis. So that negative on the a value causes a reflection over the x-axis. Now, if we go to the exponent and put a negative there, what you're going to see is something a little different. Let's do it. You are going to see a reflection over the y-axis. And so essentially what's happening is that we're going from an exponential growth to an exponential decay. So a reflection over the y-axis. Now, let's look and see what happens if we change from growth to decay. So now we have an exponential growth, and, or I mean an exponential decay, where it's large on the left and it gets smaller as you move to the right. And you'll see that the A value still gives the y-intercept of 4. If we were to change that A value to a 3, the y-intercept would change. If we changed it to a 2, the y-intercept would change to 2. So now, let's see what happens if we make the a value negative. Here we go. What you're going to see is a reflection over the x-axis. Now, if we put a negative on the exponent, you'll see that we reflect over the y-axis, and our decay basically flips over to growth. So that's what happens with changing the a value and the exponent into negatives.